Together, JavaScript and HTML are a dynamic combination that open a lot of doors to making professional interactive websites. One of JavaScript's most critical features is the inner HTML property, which unlocks unlimited possibilities for manipulating web pages. With inner HTML, you can not only grab information from a web page element, you can also change elements dynamically. So in this video, I'll introduce you to the inner HTML property and provide a demonstration. Okay, I'll start by creating a paragraph tag. Now what I'm going to do is something a little different. I'll add an ID to it. So we're going to give it a unique identifier. We'll just call it P1. And then put some text in here. Now if I save it right now and refresh the page, nothing spectacular happens. We'll just see that text appear. But when we start to use JavaScript, let me just go back here, type in script, and then make sure we give it a MIME type, text slash JavaScript, so the browser knows what we're trying to do here. And I'm going to use the document.getElementById and grab that information, in this case P1, the contents of P1 right here. Now, with that, I'm going to start to use the inner HTML property, and it looks like this. So, inner HTML equals, and I'm going to, in this case, assign something to it. So, I'll say this is text inside p tag. Now, if I go ahead and save that now and refresh, you can see what we've done is taken that. We've created the text here, but down here in the JavaScript, we've actually said, okay, we're going to use that inner HTML property for the P1 element that we've created and change it by using that text. So it's really, really simple to be able to do that. Now, let's try something a little different here. Um, I'll go ahead and maybe add another... Uh, tag here, and in this case, we'll use a heading this time. We use h1, and again, we'll give it an ID value. We'll call it old h. Now, I'll put in some text and go ahead and save that and refresh. And you can see there's our heading, no big deal there. But inside the script, what we want to do is we want to add something else. And so what we'll do is we'll start with a variable. We'll create a variable, we'll call it element, call it whatever you want, but element seems to work. Document, get element by ID, and let's go ahead and put old h, because that's the ID that we gave it. So what we're doing is we're taking the value of old h, uh, in this case uh, using get element by ID, and putting it into a variable called element. So down here, Let's do something. Element dot inner HTML equals new heading. Go ahead and save that and refresh the page, and you can see now that's changed. So effectively, there are a couple of different ways to use inner HTML. What we could do also, uh, for instance, is here. Let's go ahead and say. Uh, we want to change this. We want to grab something rather than the actual contents. So let's say uh, we want to take this, inner HTML equals, and then we're going to highlight this and copy the entire thing. I'll right click and choose copy. And here, right click, choose paste. Because rather than just use inner HTML, now we're talking about the first uh, line here, we're going to say, uh, put a dot in and grab the ID. Okay, so I'm going to say that we want to take this, the contents, and here we're going to swap it out with whatever the ID of that P1 is. So again, make sure it's saved and refresh. And you can see there we came up with undefined. That's okay, but effectively what we're doing here is we're grabbing information using that inner HTML. We can grab the actual contents just by putting inner HTML and then no dot or property, refresh, and there you go. Or we can actually uh, go ahead and start to add things to that inner HTML using the dot notation, such as grabbing the ID, the value, uh, and other useful information about the properties of the actual contents, and start to use that to be able to change things with JavaScript in HTML documents.